Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Star Trek Online. Here we're going to ask Vex about these samples of crap that we've just picked up. Show Vex the strange samples you found. I have an idea of what this might be. Maybe. I saw something like this once before, when I was out beyond the Aragon Belt. We responded to a distress call from a mining outpost. When we got there, all the people were just gone, vanished without a trace. The only things we found were a strange beacon and some odd spore samples. These look very similar. Oh great, Matongo. May I use your equipment to scan the biological samples? Sure, use whatever you want. I remember what we found back on the outpost. Evil! So bring the samples to me when you're done, and I can help you determine the results. Okay, I'll let you know what I'll find. The science council to analyze this component. Component analysis complete. What do you have to say to Vex? I've only seen fungal biotech like this once before. Remember that mining station that I mentioned? In hell! Before we arrived, they reported several disappearances. Some thought it was paranoia, but we had reports that said intruders would beam in. Right through the colony's magnetic shield, right into someone's quarters, sedate them, and then vanish without a trace. When we asked them what they thought, they went, <laughs> We didn't know what to believe, but I don't think those miners were there. Something did happen to them, and it could happen again. You thought it was related to this beacon? That's what my commander believed. We found a beacon with almost the same configuration as the one you found. Except it was 50 we feet tall. We didn't get much from it before we shut it down. But the one thing we learned is that the beacon was made by a race that called themselves the Alachi. Remember that name, folks. We'll be hearing it later. They stayed in orbit for a few days, but the Alachi never came back. That's good news for us, seeing that you disabled the beacon you found in the caverns. All right, what do we do now? Tell the Maori what we found? That's right. He's the man in charge, so he needs to know. I'd be surprised if he doesn't want to send someone down there to analyze that beacon. Could be these Ilachi were interested in our colony for some reason. Lucky for us, you were there to put a stop to whatever they were trying to do. Take a find some Maori, explain the likely involvement of the Ilachi. All right. So, I'd just like to know why exactly that guy has Nero tattoos on his forehead, but... So where was ah? I believe he was up. Ow! I just barked my shin. Replay introduction cutscene. <laughs> no, thank you. I think we'll start the festival with a speech. Hmm. Talk to Maori Melem. No, I'm true. I heard Avrak yelling all the way over here. I'm sorry you had to deal with his problems on our day of celebration. All his personal problems. That's fine, but we have a bigger problem. Hmm. That does sound very. However, you seem to have taken care of the immediate problem, disabling this beacon and dispatching the drones. You have my thanks. It was my honor. I'll assign some engineers to examine the device and set up surveillance on the cave as soon as possible. What the Vex says is true. I don't want that beacon turned on again. Now that's settled. Why don't you try to relax for a while? Who can relax? We'll talk again tomorrow after the engineers have finished their analysis of the device. Yeah, I'll do that. Thank you, Maori. Met Tovan Kevno when you're ready. Are you done for the day? I'm just finishing up too. I'm going to head back to the restaurant. Meet me for a drink when you're done. Explore the settlement, then meet up with Kev when you're done for the day. If you choose to meet up with him now, you'll be transitioned to the next part of the tutorial. Yeah, I'll meet you there. There's nothing really else we can see here anyway. Hey there. Long day? You have no idea. So what's been up with you? Apparently these Alachi are. believe how far this colony has come. Uh, that's good, but the Alachi are. Look at how much we can accomplish without being ruled by the Tall Shiar. Yeah, I told that to my boss once. Maybe he wouldn't. Someone named Atan is trying to fight them. But nice name. Me, I'm content with what we have here. For while it lasts. So enjoy the festival. <sighs> I found a real sense of permanence here. And neighbors, welcome to the Tappy. The Kellet Nectar has been harvested, the ale is brewed, and we can finally taste the fruits of our labors. 
A Jamba fruit, to be exact. And like this fine vintage, our colony has taken time and effort to develop. Since the loss of the homeworld 22 years ago, we have known fear, hunger, and pain. And boredom. We have struggled. We have overcome every difficulty. We have mourned those who are no longer with us. And we have welcomed new friends into our home. And now we celebrate. The trials are behind us. Viranat is prosperous and growing. And growing like a cancer. New challenges in the future. But we will face them together. Ooh. Nice fireworks show. Yeah, nice fireworks in the future. That one looks like a proton torpedo. Wait a minute. Oh dear. What's happening? <laughs> That's great. Get off me. <laughs> right. Sounds good to me. Alright, attention all guards. Get out of... I think we just gun done got blowed up. My, what a bright night. Hey, Tovan? Are you alright? What's happening over there? Did you find Orion? It's too late. He's gone. Where are you? I'll make it. Just get those shuttles ready. Alrighty. Take a rifle. It's the tall Shiar. We need to call for help. No. I don't know who will answer, but we have to do something. Okay. Help! I just sent a distress signal, but they damaged our transceiver array. We still have a chance, though. We need to deal with some of the tall Shiar, and then get a replacement battery. Weaken the tall Shiar forces? I'm on it. Hey, what's Blue Lantern doing there? Oh well. To use quick equip. I know, I know. Wait a minute. Yeah, sure, I'll just... Alright, so now I've got it. Aye! So that's one Ulan down. By the way, if you crouch, it'll increase your defense. Yeah, sure. You want me to get some soda for you while you're at it? Thank you, Blue Lantern. Hey! Well, that's one problem down. And a dozen more. You'll receive no mercy from the Tal Jiar. Why are you doing this? Because we're a bunch of assholes. Centurion. What are we doing with this? We'll find a shuttle. An attack on one of us is an attack on all the Tal Shiar. No, not really, but you dare attack the Tal Shiar. We'll find a shuttle. Don't fight. Make this easy on yourself. Don't resist, and everything will be explained to you. You dare attack the tall Shia. Yeah, I do. Why are you doing Thank the elementals. Please, just leave us alone. The colony is lost, but your future is not. Whoa! Getting carried away with ourselves, are we? Grab a battery from the marketplace camera. I'll keep that in mind. Alright, grab a battery from a marketplace camera. Let's see. Grab batteries. Mine. Yeah, why do you. Uh oh. More and more just keep beaming down. Oi. Is that the device? Probably is. Send a distress call. Fine. Just keep running, just keep running. The colonel wants all resistance suppressed. I can't get past that stupid chair for a second. Alright, just keep moving, just keep moving, get to that thingy. Send a distress call. Here's a distress call. GET ME OUT OF HERE! Get to the We're out of here. Sounds good to me. Move it, move it, move it. What the... That's one Ulan down, two Ulans down. Excuse me, ma'am, I'm trying to... Yes, thank you, Tovan. 
We're going. Congratulations, citizen. That's great. Now change this uniform's name and offer for no cost. You can make it later. Blah blah blah. Shut up. Let's get on that shuttle and get out of here. Well, at least we got out in one piece. Can't say that for everybody else. Space is dark. Explosion. We will forever remember Shuttle 10 for the next five seconds. Warbird. Ah, yes. That old Romulan Talis class Warbird is pretty much our only ride off of Viranat at this point. It's old and, uh, it's barely functioning, but it's our only hope. Alrighty. Now I know how to control the ships. Approach the scanned derelict ships. Online, but we need some components to get our weapons and warp drive operational. We'll need both if we want to have any hope of fighting the Tal Shiar. Fighting? I just want out. I'll scan the old ships around here for what we need. Scan for weapon parts. This'll do nicely. We just need a little more salvage. Alright. That's one derelict ship scanned. One to go. Space is really pretty. Wow. Anyways, there's the derelict, second derelict ship scanned for weapon parts. Weapons are online. Let's test them out on some of these derelict ships nearby. They're not shielded, so we can just use our torpedoes to finish them off. Will do. Destroy the derelict ships. Alright then. They're not shielded, so we can just use the torpedoes to finish them off. Alrighty, so it's right up ahead. Ooh. I'll take that. Might as well attack it with everything we've got. Torpedoes take a while to recharge. That's the one bad thing about them. So I'm just going to shoot this one with the lasers and save the torpedo for that last chip. Come on. I'm waiting. I'll take your word for it. Alright, three things of scrap new to them. The satellites? Alright then. Shielded Tall Shiar satellites. Alright then. So let's see just how much damage we can rack up. And that was easy enough. Shield two. That's satellite two down. One more sh to go. Let's go save those colonists. Must be around here somewhere. Hello, what's this? We have to help them. Let's 
chair will help them. They're right down there. I always like the design of the Talis ship, especially that neat little Romulan raptor on the bottom there. Alrighty. So there's our ally. Turn off full impulse. There's a Tall Shiar drone dead ahead. Destroy the Tall Shiar drone. Okay then. Wherever it is, there's one problem to be solved. That was easy. You think the Tall Shiar would invest a little more into their ships, but I guess not. Scanners are picking up more colonists and tall Shi'ar nearby. We have to rescue our friends. Good to have you on the bridge, Kev. Short for Kevin, I assume. Tovan Kevin. Destroy the tall Shi'ar ships and protect the colonists. Sure. So that's one drone about to go down. Well, that's easy enough. Just a little more... Uh-oh. That's actually a light warbird. That's a ship that's almost as tough as us. If not tougher. Scratch that thought. We're actually... <laughs> We're winning. Alright, beam aboard all colonists. Yeah, not quite. Destro rescue the last colonists and destroy the final Tal Shiar attackers. Not a problem. This cloak is nifty. Where are you? We're a light bird, warbird, and two drones. We'll take out the warbird. We'll take out these drones first to get rid of a lesser threat, real quick. Alrighty, so just a little more. Might as well use this plasma blaster attack. How convenient. One tall Shi'ar drone remains, but not for long. Problem number two has been solved. Ow! Come on, just a little more. Alrighty. Let's beam those colonists on board. I think it's safe to say we're a fully operational ship. I'm getting an alert. There's another distress signal coming in from one of the colony's shuttles. You can do a short-range warp jump to get to them. If you want to go now, or stay here to wipe out any other incoming drones. They look like they'll be coming in to do sweeps in the area. Let's get out to the next area. We got a problem otherwise, otherwise they'll just keep coming and coming. Bye-bye.